Okay, beloveds. So, I want to share with you guys three experiences that happened to me, which proves that thoughts are creative. Now, at the time that I'd received these experiences, I wasn't yet aware that I was the one that had created them, especially the first two. Now, without pinpointing the exact location, the first experience happened somewhere in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. At the time, I used to live like a nomad, always on the move, because I had family members that were scattered all over the eastern seaboard of the United States. I used to spend my summers up north, and once it starts to get cold, I would book me a ticket and head for the south as soon as I could. And you know what, beloveds? I enjoyed moving around like that. I most certainly didn't mind a change of scenery every now and then. But I remember this one year that I went up to New England from Florida too early. And this place that I was staying at has a lot of tourists, who are some of the most wealthiest people from the United States and around the world. Now, I remember that I came up around early spring, which was around late March, early April. And I remember that I felt very lonely because I came too early in the spring before my friends started to show up. They would all come up north as well from all over the country and other places in the world. But they would start to come a little later, around the end of May going into June. But one day, while I was walking downtown, to my surprise, I happened to run into one of my friends, whom I will call Jay for the sake of the story. Now when I saw him, I was very happy. And I'm thinking to myself, my friends are starting to show up. Bye bye boredom. But that wasn't all. My friend Jay was walking with a girl, and he had held this girl's hand, and the girl was directly behind him. So I didn't get to see her at first. I first saw him and then realized that this girl was right behind him. And so upon meeting my friend there in the town, the very next thing that he had said after he had greeted me was, this is the guy that I was telling you about, speaking to his girl that was now no longer behind him. I was then suddenly caught off guard by one of the most drop-dead gorgeous and just absolutely stunning young woman that I've ever seen. This girl was extremely hot. I remember that at some point later, when we had became friends, we were walking together in a town, and it would appear as if the entire town would stop just to take a look and admire her beauty. And I mean people from everywhere, both men and women. I would see other men and women driving in traffic and saw both of them staring at her because of just how beautiful and sexy this girl was. But you'd all be amazed to know that she hadn't a clue of how beautiful she was. And so I had to tell her that that's the reason why people were constantly looking at her. I mean, I wasn't new to meeting beautiful women, because in this particular town, I used to do it every night for fun. Some of the most beautiful and wealthiest young women would pass through this town, and I had the pleasure of meeting them all. And so this wasn't new to me. But this girl that I'd seen my friend walking with was in a league of her own. She was exceptional. And to be honest, I know this is going to sound sleazy, but this is when I lacked wisdom. The first thought that came to my mind when I had seen this hottie emerging from behind my friend was, what in the, w where did he get, I have to get this girl. <laughs> I know exactly how it sounds, but that's the truth. That's what I thought. I was thinking, where in the world did he get that girl? And how did he get her? And I was thinking that I'm going to get this girl <laughs> somehow. <laughs> But after both of them had greeted me and we'd had that interaction for about three full weeks, and I want you guys to take note of this part because it was part of the thought creation process, even though I knew it not at the time. So about three weeks, I was thinking about this girl nonstop. I couldn't stop thinking about her. I mean, her beauty was indelible. And so after the three weeks, about a month, I went back downtown and I so happened to be sitting in a chair that was right across the road from the Even Keel restaurant. Now this chair was located at the exact same spot where I'd met my friend and his girlfriend three weeks earlier. Now I remember I was sitting on this chair and while I was there sitting by myself, I started to feel lonely again. Now mind you, this was about a month after I'd last seen my friend and I hadn't seen or contacted him since. But while I was there sitting on this bench, a clear thought then came to my mind. An imagination. And this imagination was powerful. It was powered by emotions. Emotions that were very real. And feelings that were powerful. Now, some of you may struggle to believe this. But while sitting there on that bench, 
I started to think thoughts. I started to picture. I started to image. I started to imagine. Of course, now I'm clear that that's what imagining is. It's imaging. It's picturing. It's visualizing. But at that time, I wasn't aware of what I was doing. All I knew is that I was just sitting there, lost in my imagination. And this is what I was imagining. This is what I was picturing. I imagined that I would look down the street, and coming in my direction, coming towards me, would be that same girl that was with my friend three weeks prior. I also imagined that she would be walking alone, and that she would not be with my friend. And I also picture her wearing that exact same blue jeans jacket with her outfit as I remembered seeing her. Now, guys, while I was in the midst of this imagining or this imaging, with the Lord God as my witness, I see this girl walking towards me, and this girl that I saw appeared to walk right out of my imagination. In the distance, I could see that she was wearing the exact same blue jeans jacket that I imagined. And while she was yet coming closer, walking towards me by herself, with both her arms crossed in her jeans jacket because it was a bit nippy at that time, I was still sitting on this chair when I started to realize that that is the exact same girl. It is actually her. And when I had realized this, beloveds, I went, I went into shock. It was as if I had just entered into the twilight zone. I was like, okay, what, what in the world is happening? impossible and so she's now closer to me to the point where she sees me and recognizes me and then she starts to smile and started heading in my direction and I reacted immediately and stood up and went to greet her and so we hugged each other I gave her a big hug and she was very delighted to see me again and from the way that she greeted me I could tell that she fancies me and so it felt very good to know that but just so you guys get a clear picture of what was going on with me at that time, even while I was hugging her, I'm telling you the truth, I was more than a little bit freaked out. This was the first anything like this that ever happened to me. I mean, this was just incredible. And as I thought, it was impossible. How in the world could something that I was thinking about manifest as if it literally came out of my mind into reality instantaneously? And so for almost a good five minutes, even after we'd hug and we started walking, I could, I could hardly, I could hardly form like words and responses to the questions that she was, she was asking me. So I'm pretty sure that for the first five minutes, she was probably wondering like, what's wrong with him? Is he okay? But she hadn't the slightest clue that I was trying my very best to hold on to my sanity and to try to figure out or find some logical explanation to what had just occurred. Of course, I was ecstatic that this girl that I've been thinking about nonstop for the past three to four weeks is now here walking and talking with me. But at the same time, something inexplicable and extraordinary has also occurred. And I don't know what in the world to make of it. So it kind of threw me for a loop. And so while talking to her, I was trying my best to hide the puzzled, confused expression while at the same time trying my best to show my delight at getting to seeing her again. And so, as you can imagine, those first five minutes was very, very weird. And I was pondering whether or not to try to explain to her what had just occurred. And a thought came to me, don't tell her anything. Do you want her to think that you're crazy? And so I didn't tell her anything. And that there, beloveds, was my first experience of having my thoughts literally manifesting instantaneously, which also later led me to believe that my thoughts, or thoughts in general, are creative.